Welcome to the spoken tutorial on manipulating objects in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you will learn how to position the objects using grids and guidelines, use snap functions, customize lines and arrowheads, resize and distribute objects, combine and merge objects. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let us open the root map file that was saved on the desktop. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. Let us add a new page to the root map file. Right click on the pages pane and select new page. In the previous tutorials, we had briefly used grids. Now let's learn about grids in detail. Click on the display grid icon on the standard toolbar. Alternatively, click on the view menu and select grid and help lines. From the submenu, select display grid option. The draw page gets filled with a number of horizontal and vertical dotted lines. These form the grid. These grids are for display and positioning purposes only. They will not be printed. You can customize the size of the grids as per your requirements. To do so, from the main menu, select Tools and click Options. The Options dialog box opens. Click LibreOffice Draw and select Grid. Under Resolution, let us change the values as follows. Horizontal 5 cm, Vertical 5 cm. Subdivision decides the number of spaces in a grid. Let us leave the subdivision values as default. Horizontal 3, Vertical 4. Windows users may see the default values as Horizontal 10 and Vertical 10. Let us leave the Synchronize Axis option unchecked. Click on the Apply button. Then click on the OK button at the bottom right of the dialog box. Look at the drop page now. Look at the size of each box in the grid. Let us count the spaces that we set in subdivision. Horizontally, there are 1, 2, 3 spaces and vertically, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. Here too, spaces may change in your system. Next, let us learn about guides. What are guides? Guides are helper lines or extensions at the edges of the objects. They are displayed when the object is moved. Let us enable the guidelines or helplines. Click on the helplines while moving icon on the standard toolbar. Alternatively, click on the view menu and select grid and helplines. From the submenu, select the option helplines while moving. Click on the root map slide. Let us move the park a little to the right side. When park is moved, Extension lines at the edges of the object become visible. These are the guidelines. Now let's see what snap lines are. Snap lines are vertical and horizontal dashed lines. They help to position two or more objects within a defined area. Snap lines and snap points are created by the user. Let us enable the snap lines option. Go to the draw page, right click for the context menu and click on snap guides. From the sub menu, select display snap guides option. Let us enclose the objects in the map using the snap lines. On the draw page, move the cursor over the vertical ruler. Press the left mouse button. Observe that the cursor has changed to a two sided arrow. Drag the cursor towards the draw page. Can you see a dashed line? This is a snap line. 
do not release the mouse button. Holding the left mouse button, drag the dashed line to the page. Now release the mouse button. Similarly, drag and drop another snap line at the right end of the map. Now let's draw horizontal snap lines. Place the cursor on the top ruler and press the left mouse button. After you see the two-sided arrow, drag the mouse cursor to the draw page. Place the snap line on the top of the map. Similarly, drag and drop another snap line at the bottom of the map. Notice that we have enclosed the map using the snap lines. You can create as many snap lines as you want. The horizontal and vertical snap lines function as X and Y axis on the graph. Within these two axes, you can position the objects exactly. Now we will edit the drawn snap lines. For this, right click on the vertical snap line. From the submenu, select Edit Snap Line. Edit Snap Line dialog box opens. Under Position, we can change the X value. Notice that Y field is inactive in the dialog box. This is because we are changing the position in the X direction. Click on the OK button. Notice the change in position of the line. Similarly, right click on the horizontal snap line. From the submenu, select Edit Snap Line. Change the position of the Y value. Here we are changing the position in the Y direction, so X field is inactive. Click on the OK button to update the changes. We can also delete the snap lines. Right click on the snap line. From the submenu, select Delete Snap Line. To delete it. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Explore all the grid options. Check what happens to objects when you snap to grid, snap to object points and snap to page margins. Objects can be resized exactly to any measurement that is required. Let us use exact measurements and change the shape of home. Select Home and right click for the context menu. Select Position and Size option. The Position and Size dialog box appears. Click on the Position and Size tab if not already selected. Under Size, enter the value 3 in both the Width and Height fields. Then click the Rotation tab. In the Angle field, enter the value 10. Finally, click the Slant and Corner Radius tab. In the Slant section, under Angle field, change the angle to 5 degrees. Click on the OK button. We have reshaped the home object. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Draw various shapes using the drawing toolbar. Check if you can change the corner radius of all the shapes. Now let's paste the right edges of some objects evenly. We will use the distribution option to achieve this. Select at least three objects to use the distribution option. Say residential complex, parking lot and commercial complex. Now right click and select distribution. Distribution dialog box opens up. Under horizontal, select right radio button and click on the OK button. The right edges of the objects get evenly distributed. Distribution option does not distribute the objects horizontally or vertically. The horizontal distribution option distributes right and left edges, horizontal centers and spacing between the objects. The vertical distribution option distributes top and bottom edges, vertical centers and spacing between the objects. Now let's create our own line style for this map. From the main menu, select format and click line. 
the line dialog box appears. Click on the line styles tab. In the line styles grid, select the option three dashes and three dots. Leave the type field as it is. In the number field, let's enter 10 and 5. In the length field, enter 8%. Click on the add button on the right side of the dialog box. Enter the name My Line Style and click on the OK button. Again click on the OK button at the bottom right of the dialog box. Let's select this arrow. Right click and select line. The line dialog box appears. Click on the line tab. Then click on the style drop down box. It displays the new style that we created just now. Select it and click on the OK button. We have created a new line style. Let's draw a small stadium to the left of the school campus. From the drawing toolbar, click on Insert Basic Shapes drop down. Select a circle. Draw a small circle to the left of the school campus. The outline style of the circle is that of My Line Style. Let's type Stadium inside it. Now let's learn to combine and merge the objects. What is the difference between grouping and combining objects? When objects are grouped, all objects in the group are treated as a single entity. When objects are combined, a completely new object is created. Let's draw three objects overlapping each other to demonstrate these options. In the Pages pane, click on Slide 2. From the drawing toolbar, click Insert Basic Shapes and select a circle. Move the mouse to the draw page and drag to draw a circle. Similarly, select Diamond and draw it overlapping the circle. Next, click on Fill Color drop-down and select Dark Red 1 from the palette. Click on the diamond to color it. Next, draw a rectangle overlapping the circle and diamond. Color the rectangle as Light Green 1. Now press Ctrl A keys to select all the objects. Right click for the context menu and click on Shapes. From the submenu, select Combine. Click anywhere else on the page to deselect the objects. A new object is created. The new object takes the color of the object that is last and at the back. Let us undo this action by pressing the Ctrl and Z keys together. Select the objects again and right click for the context menu. Select Shapes and click on Merge. Click anywhere on the drop page. Another new shape is created. Here is an assignment for you. Using the image shown on the slide, explore the following options on the objects. Intersect, Subtract, Break and Connect. Let us save the file and close it. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, you have learned to Use grids, guides and snap lines to align the objects accurately. Resize and distribute objects. Create new line styles. Form new objects using combine and merge options. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desikru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This tutorial is contributed by Nikita Missal and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.